Hello guys, uh, this is Khan and you are watching Educative Channel and today we are going to make some programs uh, from the practice we have done or whatever we have learned till today. And in this uh, tutorial, we will be making some physics formula programs. So basically what we'll do, we'll convert these formula into programs. So let's start. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, formulas. So we'll start with the basic derivative. One more thing that in next video, I will also uh, show you how to install C++ compiler in VS Code so that we can switch from dev C++ to VS Code. So keep watching and because we are for the beginners, we are following dev C++, so, uh, dev C++, so uh, we will follow for this uh, tutorial the same dev C++. So open the dev C++. I have made a file and uh, name it lab1-1 means lab1 and first program. So let's see what it says calculating speed of an object s is equal to d upon t s is uh, basically speed and uh, d is distance and t is time. So let's start with this formula. So let me write here s is equal to d divided by t. Okay. So we'll name these variables for the same and they will use float data type not uh, integer because most of the time uh, what we get the variable like for 1.2567 something like this in integer we can only store this part uh, after the decimal and for the decimal we need the floating point uh, data type or the float data type so we'll declare s comma d comma t and then see out we'll take input enter distance and distance would be in meters of course so this is uh, distance then we'll take it in variable d same we'll do with the <coughs> so with the time uh, what I mean? t i m e time and time would be in seconds you know the units of these and and next we want to print out the result here so the speed is here we'll use the same formula it is mentioned here d divided by t or d upon t okay so let me just d divided by t okay and the answer would be in meters per second okay so that is a Okay, the program simple one. Let's save it and F11 to run it, compile and run it. Okay, F11. <clears throat> Let's see the output. Here you can see enter distance in meters. The first line prints. Uh, for example, we are going to enter uh, 100 meter and the time in seconds. So something like 60 seconds. It may be the reward, but and let's see the answer the speed is 1.66 uh, meter per second so we have got our first program done so uh, you can see float data type two input variables and then calculation here and the result so next let's start with the next one newton second law of motion f is equal to ma so what i'm going to do i will just save a file as save as okay you can use here go to file and then save as and uh, just change the last character lab1 and part 2 so this will be the second program so we'll have lab1-2 and uh, the second one uh, what we are going to do we will use f is equal to m a m into a basically we are going to multiply it here okay so let's rename the variable same force we'll get in the resultant and uh, this is mass m for mass into the mass and mass is entered in kilograms the unit of mass and the variable is m and then into acceleration acceleration and we can take it meter per second square meter per second square or okay 
uh, like this we can mention because uh, for the square we have to change few things and uh, a so the the net is the net force we'll get the net force is in place of d upon t we have to use m static a <coughs> and uh, we can use newton or in detail there is another one but uh, we can use simple m or newton so let's run the program f11 and now the window is here output enter the mass in kilogram for example again the similar value 100 kg and the acceleration is um, like 20 meter per second so the net force is 2000 newtons okay so that is our second program hope you understand if you don't get anything just let me know and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more videos now calculating acceleration and we have got this uh, very common formula in this one we have got uh, final velocity minus initial velocity and divided by time so we'll use the same here and again i am going to save it as third lab one dash three okay so this is our third file and in this one uh, we need uh, a for acceleration final velocity comma initial velocity uh, comma time so these are our variables and uh, we have got a is equal to vf minus vi divided by t that is our formula so we will take three values from here so enter uh, final velocity uh, i don't think that we need more of this uh, and then uh, we'll take in vf second we'll take uh, initial velocity initial velocity and we'll take it vi and then enter time t i n e time i just want to make it more accurate like this and we'll take it in t and then uh, the expression is acceleration is acceleration is i think the formula vf minus vr and then divided by t and we need to start with the bracket something like this okay two brackets vf minus vr and then divided by t okay and uh, we don't need this so i will get it get rid of it okay save it and then Execute it. You can use compile one or I will use compile and run, and you can use the shortcut F11 as well. So let's see. Uh, initial velocity is something like um, we are going to enter here. So initial first uh, final velocity and then initial velocity 100 and then uh, initial velocity we can start with the zero and then time uh, something like 60 seconds. So Again, the acceleration is 1.66667. Again, so that is a third program. So we have done a third program. Now go to the next one, area of triangle. In the area of triangle, we can get the area by <coughs> getting base into height and divided by half or one upon two. So let's start area of triangle. Uh, fourth of our program, one dash four. And uh, I, didn't, no, I don't need this again and again, so let's uh, so area is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by b into h. Okay, so we need again three variables a, b, and h h for height and b for base. Enter base of triangle because we are going to get calculate the triangle and then uh, we need uh, in place of base we need height of triangle hmm? into height h e i g h t and here we'll take b and here h <coughs> and next we'll calculate the area the area of triangle is
and for this one we'll use uh, 1 upon 2 or static b or static h okay okay let's try this one first because sometimes it doesn't uh, solve the problem so first let me show this one and then we'll see that uh, what uh, should be the solution to this one okay so first of all i'm going to run it base is uh, something like 10 and uh, the height is again um, 10 okay and the trying the area of triangle it is showing zero so what we have to do basically we will enclose these two together and we, you can do the easiest way just multiply this value with uh, uh, 0 0.5 that is the easier one let's try this one again 10 and 5 okay so we'll get the area of triangles 25 so this is the easier one 0 0.5 basically what is 0 0.5 if we divide 1 divided by 2 so we'll get the 0 0.5 so what we are going to do here we'll apply the same thing here or you can do one more thing you can divide this value with 2 so it will do the same thing let's try again Uh, 105 okay uh, but it is saying the value uh, 250 again okay? so the, these are the solutions we can do again okay? so uh, fourth program is done now come to the convert the Celsius to Fahrenheit uh, another uh, very common practice program and for this one we have to use the formula uh, Celsius multiply by 1.8 plus 32 okay so next program we have got one five okay and here we have to calculate f is equal to c multiply by one upon eight and then plus 32 so that is our formula here we'll use this formula and then uh, we need the variables f and c these are the two only enter the temperature temperature in cell, far, uh, celsius or celsius okay we'll take the temperature in celsius in variable c then we'll convert it with the help of formula and uh, the temperature in the temperature in height. i think the spelling let me check f a h R E N, okay. Yes, that's the same spelling. That's a tricky one, so I just check it again. What you can do, you can do the same thing here, and uh, how C static 1.8 plus 32, okay. So that is uh, the value you will get uh, the value for night. Let's save it, run it, and uh, then. We'll see 100 Celsius is equal to 212 Fahrenheit. So we'll get the answer. One more thing we can do. We can use, uh, as uh, I mentioned here, another variable. So we can use a variable like F is equal to, sorry, F is equal to the same formula so that the calculation will be different, uh, a different place like this one. And then we can print the result here, F. It will give us the same result as before okay and it will be easy for you to understand that, uh, that we are performing the calculation here and then we are printing the result here it uh, is upon to you that uh, what uh, way is better for you or uh, you prefer so let's make the next program write a program to calculate the volume of a box okay so we can calculate the volume of the box uh, and for the volume uh, for example if I write a v is equal to m multiplied by m multiplied by m for area we need height and width and uh, for volume we need the depth as well so basically what we need we need three values or three lengths or three values in meters so what I'm going to do I will uh, first declare the variable v m1 comma m2 comma m3 okay so what you can do you can take three variables 
enter the length g h d okay enter the length and uh, take the length in m1 then i'm going to copy and paste the second and the third okay second variable and third variable you can change it here height and width height length and sometimes width or sometimes breadth. okay so i'm just going to write here both, okay it depends on your math book okay now what we need p is equal to and we have to multiply all these three one multiply by m2 multiply by m3 and you'll see the answer here v okay uh, not the temperature obviously the area or oh, sorry the volume is the volume is and we get the answer here. let's save it run it f11 and then see the result for example if i'm going to give the area uh, 15 by 15 and by 10 so the volume would be 20 to 50 okay so these are a few of the programs you have made one two one uh, two three four five rather six six programs you have made the other one is write a program of market but uh, the video is uh, already too long so just give it a go you have to make market take uh, five input subjects and print its total and percentage also so